Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I have a Pro account on Kahoot. And the reason is that Kahoot really provides me with everything that I need to follow up on my students, as well as to have fun with them. And I really, really enjoy uh, having a Kahoot, not just face-to-face -face in my classes, but right now with COVID-19 in Zoom and other live on classes that I use, like Big Blue Button. So let me take you through what I do. So first of all, my topic right now is leisure time. Whatever your topic is, what you're gonna do is go into Discover. Not, right now, I think everybody can have a pro, since uh, Kahoot has uh, gone beyond their, um, I guess their business plans and they're providing it for free, which is really, really great. So go into Discover and then write whatever you want. So in this case, it's leisure time. You can also create one of your own, your own Kahoot, or you can actually edit whatever is available. It's all up to you. So I've done this one, which is quite good. And I've also done another one here, which I also found uh, very, very useful and that's leisure time activities. You can choose, uh, sometimes you might be better off to take whatever has been used a lot, and you notice that this one has 281 plays. It's quite good, but you need to try it out with your students to see what's best. You can also ask your students to create their own Kahoot, and they love that, and then they actually provide it in the classroom. Also, the number of questions may be an indicator. How long do you want it to go on for? Sometimes there's not enough time, so we uh, lower. You can also have, for depending on the level of your class, um, this Kahoot is actually for very young learners to adult learners, so decide what you want to do. So let's take this one, Leisure Time Activities. You go into these three dots here. Let me show you where they are. Open that up. Click on it and then you can actually play or duplicate. If you duplicate, you can edit and then make the changes that you wish. So um, let's take a look at play, which is what I do in my live online classes these days. I click on teach, wait a few seconds, of course, and then there it is. So next is simply to go to the classical, not the team. That works best um, fully online. And then what I do is I screen share on the Zoom. Okay, so for example, they need to have, let me turn the music off. They need to have this information. So what I advise them to do is to have Zoom on their computers and have their phones handy. So I always ask them, have your phone handy, and then they can watch the screen, just they would like they would in the classroom. They watch the screen, and then they're able to use their phones and uh, play the Kahoot there. And it's a lot of fun. Try it. It really works. And it's amazing, even in a virtual class, live online class like uh, Zoom. So I hope this has been the help. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I've been doing this for a long time. I know it works, but there are if there are any issues, um, I'll be happy to help.